I think that we all see God as this domineering figurehead, a long cast shadow that we will forever be standing in, unable to measure up. And we deem ourselves inferior, imperfect compared to perfection. And this is the path our bare feet walk, vulnerable to the Spirit's will, tossing us to and from our small pleasures and suffering. Does nothing matter? Or does it all matter? Do your day-to-day -day coffee breaks and heartbeats bear weight to the kingdom? And I gift you with a simple answer. Yes. How could they not? But I do understand your thinking. Because sometimes, when I do truly look into myself at the mirror after too many beers, and I point and I cry at my state of imperfection, I remember the scars on my brother's arms and how disappointed I am in most people. How I hate the way my waist looks and how blood smells too much like pennies and I think that's ironic. And all the sad things add up and start to get really heavy. And I grip the sink with my fingers, hands sticky gripped to porcelain. And I peer into my reflection again and again and promise to be better. I promise to be fixed next time we talk, God. Why is it that we promise and aspire to fix what isn't unacceptable? Because to suggest that imperfection is inadequate will leave you peaceless. And it's the very root of all of our suffering. Why were you created? Why am I here? Because you were wanted. You were created because something divine wanted you. And if we did, indeed come from something divine, does that not suggest that we each are innately divine? That we are then each connected to every living thing? Because all that is good is God. The most divine gift 